to start with, if we right click on our attack animation, go up to create, I'm going to create an anim montage. I'm going to name mine attack. So if you double click on the anim montage, it should have a little purple bar underneath it. If you double click on it, go down to your bottom right to anim slot manager. If this isn't here, you go to window and add, add it here. So what we need to do, we need to create a new slot. So select add slot. I'm going to name it upper body. And go over here to your left where it says default group, default slot. And add, go to slot name and add, change it to your upper body slot here. And then what you need to do, go to Asset Browser on the bottom right again and drag and drop your animation, your attack animation. So this will create two bars. All you need to do is select one and delete it. And that's that done for now. So if we save. So now if we go into our animation blueprint again, Make sure you're in the anim graph. If we alt and left click and detach our state machine, drag off state machine, and we need to search for sorry, new save cache pose. So select this. I'm going to name this in the details panel on the top right. Idle, walk, run. And then off of the output pose, we're going to search for layered blend per bone. So now we need to pick a bone. If we go into details, down to branch filters. Click the plus sign. We need to choose a bone name. So we can do this if we go into the mesh here on the top. This is case sensitive. So the bone we need to pick is spine here with a capital S. So if we go back into our animation blueprint, back into our details, down to bone name, and just type in spine. So that's that done. So we need to get our cache pose. So use cache pose, idle walk run. Just attach it. We need to get our upper body slot as well. So if we right click and search for default slot, default slot, select it. Go into your details in the top right again, down to slot name, and then just choose default group upper body, attach it, get our cache pose, control C, control V to copy and paste it, and attach that here. So all this is done. Just compile and save. So now, if we right click on our content browser, go to Blueprints, down to Blueprint Interface. Name this attack. Double click on our Blueprint Interface. Go to the top right where it says My Blueprint, down to Functions and rename new function to attacking. So compile and save. 
So what you want to do now, go to your AI character blueprint, go up to the top to your class settings, go to your details panel on the right, down to interfaces, and you want to search. So you want to add your interface, compile and save, and go back into your event, event graph, right click, you want to search for your function, so event attacking, so this here, you want to search for this here, and then off event attacking, whatever, you, whatever you've named it, you want to search for play, montage, so you want to play out and in montage, you don't want play and in montage, you want play montage. So we need to get our skeletal mesh, so it's this here, so left click and drag that in and attach it to your in skeletal mesh component and you want to search for your montage, what montage you want to play, so it's the attack animation. And that's that done, so compile and save. So now if we go into our behaviour tree, go to blackboard. We need to create a boolean, a new key, so go to new key, select bool, so this is going to, so if this boolean is true, the AI can attack our player and if it's false, it can't attack, so we'll change the name of it to can attack, and then a question mark. Go back to your behaviour tree, so now we need to create a service, this is going to check if how close the AI is to our player. So if we go to up to new service and create a new service, we'll rename this. I'm going to change the name of it to distance. Double click. So now right click, search for event, receive. Act, event receive activation AI. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to search for get distance to. Oh, sorry, off of controlled pawn. Search for get distance to. Any other actor is going to be our player character. So off of other actor get player character. So what we want now is to create a variable, name this distance, go up to details panel on the right, <clears throat> you want to make it instance editable and you'll change the variable type to float. So drag this variable in, get distance, and off of distance, you want less than, so it's for less than or equal to. So alt and left click, you want your distance here and you want to get distance to in the top. So now we need to create another variable. Let's name this bool. Go to your details panel on the right. Again, make it instance editable and change your variable type to a boolean. Sorry. You want to change your bool, your variable type, and you want blackboard key selector. So you want to get it, and you'll search for set blackboard value as bool. And then attach if you're less than or equal to, to the value, 
and your event receiver activation AI to your set black bar values bulb. So that's all set up. Compile and save. You're going to go back into your behavior tree. And you're going to select your sequence here, right click, and you want to add this service. Select the service, go to your details panel on the right, change the distance to about 250, and you want to set your bool as the boolean in your backboard, so it can attack. And that's our set up. We need to create a new task. So you go to new task at the top, create a new task. We'll name this attacking or attack. Double click on it. I'm going to right click. I'm going to search for event receive activation. Sorry, event receive execute AI. And off of control pawn. I'm going to search for does implement interface and then the interface is going to be our attack interface of the return value and search for branch attach these two and then again off of control pawn you want to search for attacking or whatever you've named in your interface the function here, whatever you've named this and off of true, attach it to attacking you want a delay and the duration set it to about one second and then finally, off of completed, finish, execute, and check success. Compile and save. So finally, detach, move to player, so left click, alt and left click. So if we have your sequence here, you want to search for simple parallel. You want to select this, go up to your details, down to parallel, and you want to change the finish mode to delayed. Attach move to player to the left of this on the left one here and off of here you want to attach you want to search for sorry your attacking task and then you want to add a decorator to this attacking task you go down to add decorator blackboard select the blackboard go to your details down to blackboard, leave it is, as is set, and your blackboard key, you want it to be a can attack. So if you save, you can test this. So it should be walking to its location, it's chasing me, and when it gets in a certain range, it should attack me.